Ferguson, Missouri, as soon as tomorrow a grand jury could begin hearing evidence to determine whether Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson will or will not be indicted in Michael Brown's death. And tonight on the record, learning new information about Officer Wilson. Plus, right now, Ferguson, Missouri, bracing for another night of violent protests. Last night hit an arrest high. 78 people arrested during last night's violence. Defense lawyer and former homicide detective Ted Wilson is in, Ted Williams is in Ferguson. He joins us live. Ted, um, what, what have you learned about this police officer? Well, Greta, there's a, a, a great deal of, that we have learned about the police officer. He's a career veteran. He's been on the force for approximately five years. Uh, he has recently divorced. He has a, 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 a girlfriend. But one of the things he does not have is a record of getting in trouble or uh, having a lot of uh, complaints lodged against him with the uh with his commanders in terms of so does his colleagues like him basically i mean that doesn't necessarily mean anything happened or didn't happen on the street but he's well liked by his colleagues yeah uh that was something else that we were able to find that uh he is a police officer's police officer from most of what we've been able to find he's well liked in the department and by his colleagues and his uh, officials all right. Well, now you're in Ferguson, so tell me, is it beginning to look at all like last night? When you were there last night and crowds began to gather, I realize it's not yet dark there, but are you beginning to see anything that resembles last night? Greta, this is a town under siege. There's a difference between night and day. During the daytime, you're able to walk down the streets. The demonstrators out here, the law enforcement and the demonstrators get along very well. And then darkness takes place, and it's a complete metamorphosis. At that stage, the demonstrators are influenced apparently by rebel rousers who get in the mix with the demonstrators. And as of last night, we had two people shot. We had three or four law enforcement agents or officers injured. We had quite a few uh, arrests here last night. Uh, it's a difference. I, I got to tell you, Greta, I'm not the governor of this town but, or this state or this town, but what I would like to see is that doing at the dusk, I think they should shut everything down. I realize that individuals have First Amendment rights, but I'm telling you, sooner or later, and I hope it doesn't happen, but there's a good possibility that one of these good law enforcement officers that's trying to protect this public could very well be harmed. Seriously Ted, harmed. 